So, metal's melted down in the bottom there. I don't want to hold the camera over the furnace too long because believe it or not, that is extremely hot. So, now comes the fun part. We're going to start adding some soda cans. Now, I see other videos online of people taking soda cans and throwing them at the furnace, and I just kind of chuckle. It's almost as if they're afraid of it. Um, like a lot of things, the more afraid of something you are, the more likely you are to get hurt. So, just take your welding gloves, take your soda can, just drop it in. It's, it's really not that difficult. The cans start to melt almost right away. I like to crush my cans first, but I don't always. Crushed cans, you can fit more of them in there, and they tend to give a little bit less slag when they're melting. So I've got this bucket of cans right here that I'm going to be melting down and a couple of other cans. And we're going to melt them all down. I'm going to slag them or deslag the metal. And then we're going to pour it into an ingot tray and you guys can watch me pour. So here goes. Also something to note, um, you'll notice that I say this quite a bit in my other videos, but do as I say, not as I do. Um, if you'll notice, and I don't like to put my face on camera, sorry guys, but I'll do it just this once for you. Um, I am wearing safety glasses, as you can see. Um, I usually don't, but because I have my contact lenses in right now, uh, number one, heat dries them out very well, as I'm sure you guys all know if you wear contacts. And number two, if something splashes up at me, I would rather get it on my safety glasses than in my eyes, because I like being able to see so I can make videos like this for you guys to watch. Also, I'm not wearing gloves because it's more comfortable for me, but I would recommend you guys wear gloves. I'm just going to put this out there as a disclaimer. I try and provide you the best information that I can, and I'm comfortable in doing this myself. I can't guarantee that any of this information will be accurate or um, suited for any particular purpose. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself or somebody else or if any damage or anything like anything like that comes out of this and yes I just threw a can at the furnace and I missed since I can't really get the camera down in there very well I'm just gonna stack some cans up on top here and I'll let you guys let you guys see how fast they melt and this is real time it's not a time lapse them and put them in. Ryan, if you're watching, I'm sorry I'm not saving the tabs for you. I'm in a hurry to make this video. I haven't melted in a couple of days, so I'm sure you'll forgive me. If 
you haven't fast forwarded through the video yet, thanks for sticking with me. We can discuss other uh, fuels as well. If you guys don't feel like making a propane burner or can't afford one if propane's too expensive for you, which I guess could happen, uh, there are other fuels that you can use as well. If you'll check out other videos on YouTube, there are people who have made furnaces out of, uh, well, not out of, but made furnaces that use waste oil, uh, motor oil, vegetable oil, things like that. Those are neat, free fuel as well. Um, the only thing that you have to pay for typically is a blower, uh, some kind of a blower motor, just to help atomize the fuel before it combusts. And electricity is pretty cheap, especially to run a little blower. Um, other fuels, the most common one for starting out would be charcoal. You can make a, a simple furnace out of charcoal with some pipe and a hair dryer for right around 20 bucks including the charcoal and the hair dryer if you had to go out and buy them so you know in in all reality whoops in all reality it is a very cheap hobby to get into um, it's a lot of fun especially once you start making your first castings right now i'm making the gingery lathe. I have videos on my other other videos on my channel. You can definitely check those out. So that's it for the cans, uh, at least for now. I'll let these melt down here. I'll check the timer here, but I melted down a five gallon bucket of cans in just under seven minutes. So, I mean, propane is what it is. It burns hot, it's nice fuel. And because it's so much fun, I'm just gonna keep adding some cans. take a moment to complain about monster too. If you guys have noticed I melted some monster ca monster cans. I didn't bother to save the tabs. The reason being monster, your uh, your energy gear promotion. When you first came out with it, it was awesome. I bought the sweatshirt, I bought the backpack, I bought a t-shirt and a couple other things. Then when you guys came out with it the second time, not only did you double the amount of tabs, but you doubled the shipping price. 150 tabs for a sweatshirt, as I recall, uh, another 100 tabs for a backpack, and 75 tabs for a t-shirt, and then $10 for shipping for each one of those. Shame on you. I've got like 500 tabs at least saved up, and I don't want to pay $100 in shipping to buy 10 things off of your store. So if you see this, I doubt anyone at Monster Corporate will. But if you run the promotion again, please do all of your monster drinkers a favor and lower your shipping prices. Please and thank you. Also, if you guys are still watching, don't do this. Please. Don't push soda cans down in a bowl of aluminum because it tends to make air pockets in there and bubble up. I've had it happen a couple of times where little pieces of aluminum or burning syrup from the soda come spitting out of the furnace. And it's kind of scary, not to mention dangerous. Also, 
melting soda cans smells a lot better than melting beer cans. I started out doing beer cans because I drink a lot of beer, you guys can't tell. But beer cans reek when you melt them, especially Budweiser. It's a great beer, but it doesn't smell very good. this far and listen to my rambling. Congratulations. I hope you're not bored yet. If you are, fast forward through the video. Or leave me a comment and tell me not to make my videos so long. video too much longer so I'm gonna cut it short here I'm probably gonna melt down the rest of my soda cans that I have but then I'm gonna go ahead and pour it I'll set the camera up outside I'll be pouring it into my ingot tray I'm also going to show you guys how just how much slag you get off of soda cans versus melting down other aluminum sources so that'll be up next and we'll see you then